Good morning, colleagues. And this is really a, my, my first time to join PRP. And I already have <laughs> learned a lot from the chat last night and also from the excellent presentations. So I'll just uh, take a few minutes to uh, have a quick overview. Sorry, how, how can I move? I'll just click. This one? Yes. OK. Yeah, just a very quick overview. What is happening at the country level and how the tripartite um, uh, collaborate with uh, stakeholders, partners, and to support the members to really achieve zero by 30 at the countries. So, and working to prevent and eliminate rabies really contribute directly to sustainable goals. That's our mandate as UN organizations, especially for SDG3 aims to ensure health and well-being for everyone. So I pick some facts here, and then we all know that controlling uh, rabies really have the benefit, health benefit for both humans and animals, including uh, livestock and dogs, and also the economic benefit for, for example, the production perspective for livestock, and also ensure uh, well, animal welfare. So, and then there are so many actions ongoing, projects, interventions at the countries, and now focus area, uh, including like awareness, education, policy, and support and national programs, surveillance and diagnostic, preparedness and response, and also promote uh, the One Health collaboration. Those are, I think it's very much in alignment in the global, with the global strategy, and also the PRP pillars. So in terms of uh, awareness and, uh, and education, I think since the establishment of the world uh, rabies day, I think it's 27, uh, 27. So all the partners and uh, tripartite, GARC and other stakeholders actively contribute to the awareness campaign during uh, a rabies day at the global, regional, national, and also community level. And in parallel, some CAP studies, uh, CAP surveys, and also training needs assessment continuously happened in the different regions and the countries. And also um, in collaboration with CARC, and a few developed some material, educational materials to be used as school curricul curriculum in some countries where rabies is endemic. So for our policy support, really the national programs, those are the key part, the core part. Last year, I think ORE general session adopted the resolution and endorsement of official national official program and for um, dog, uh, dog mediated rabies. So that's, that's really a big milestone to really support uh, the countries achieve um, zero by 30. So I, I list some examples here. That is uh, how we support Africa countries to have their official national programs. Those just some of these countries. So I think as a UAR platform, we really could take this opportunity to have a look who other endemic uh, countries and who are really already free from this dog mediated. Um, rabies. If they are endemic, still endemic, if they, if, if they still don't have official programs, we this should be priority for all of us to help all the countries have their own national official program. This is really the first step to achieve the goals by 2030. And then for those countries they're already free from, maybe we can encourage them to do some, for example, self-declaration or to increase an uh, enabling environment to remind all of us we have this strategy, we have this goal by 30. So, and, and, uh, and also another thing we, we need to highlight is that the disease prioritization. What we have done uh, in FAO to, through ACTAD project, ACTAD country, we have ACTAD offices, uh, this is a project uh, support, support focusing on transboundary animal disease and including rabies. So in those countries, we try to push those uh, countries list rabies as prioritized disease among the top five uh, prioritized diseases. So at a country level, actually the official national uh, program and, a, and the prioritization. So whatever we did, I think I fully agree with what Luis just mentioned. I just echo whatever we do, tripartite and uh, stakeholders, what the activities could really play a catalytic role, but how 
to make sustainability at countries, the official national uh, program and the prioritization, it can leverage um, political commitment and the resources for the countries and then ensure uh, the sustainability at a country level to, to really achieve the goal. So, and of course, and the national programs is covered some key strategies and interventions, for example, um, the vaccination strategy, um, dog population interventions, surveillance and, and, diagnostic, and diagnostic. So in terms of surveillance and diagnostic, and many of, many of our partners, we already put collective effort and to really strengthen the capacity on surveillance and diagnostic. For example, the provision of lab equipment and reagents, on-site trainings, and the proficiency uh, test. So those are showing some examples that supported uh, by uh, FAO. We, are, we took a lot of efforts in Africa, but in Asia and the Pacific, or you uh, take a lot of leadership in that region to do um, uh, capacity building on, in terms of diagnostic and surveillance. So those are the plan. Uh, this is FAO um, plan. Our um, Angelique was, he was here and he's a lab expert. So from FAO, this is our plan. What we have done in 2017, it's like uh, already 13 countries and 14 labs and we do a proficiency test. 2020 is covered, it's covered 12 countries, 15 labs. For this year, the plan is uh, 16 countries will be invited and 20 labs will participate in this proficiency test. So, and then for uh, rebus, for preparedness and response, and if they're uh, requested from countries, uh, the EMC mission will be deployed. EMC stands for Emergency Management Center, which is hosted by FAO, but for any zoonotic disease mission, it will be a joint effort by quadripartite, by tripartite, and now it's quadripartite. So here we are showing on the map, this all the uh, EMC missions from 26 to 2020, and the, the blue, and the, there are three dot is about rabies in, in Indonesia, Vietnam, and the Malaysia. Maybe just an example for Indonesia, Bali, when the uh, rabies introduced in the first ever, I think in, 20, in 28. So just in very short time, the EMS, EMC missions was deployed very rapidly and to, uh, to Bali. So there is a, there's a standard procedure to deploy this EMC missions. So, it is upon to request from the member from the member countries. So what other um, challenges and difficulties at country and the regional level? And for example, the street dogs, if we re repeated this uh, as challenges and difficulties at almost in, especially in LMIC countries, the population management, the vaccination, and in terms of national action plan, there are some countries they don't have, even they have, the implementation is another thing. And how to make it really a uh, one health implementation at the country level. And under investment in the essential, in for, uh, the surveillance capacity, diagnostic capacity, and also limited support for human resources. And even in some countries, the uh, rabies is not notifiable for human cases. Maybe it's really a timing to really check how many countries they, they don't really um, list rabies as notifiable. So we see we, if we cannot get information, if we cannot measure how we can control this rabies. At the regional level, and this limited bilateral cooperation for, uh, to build capacity, leverage tools, and also the concerns about quality of vaccine availability and the coordination across border areas. For example, the animal movement and vaccination. And due to COVID and, and even more restrictions for human uh, resources, and also even more restrictions on surveillance, investigation, vaccination, and also more difficulties for information sharing across the sectors. So this just showing uh, we are facing a new era of One House. And maybe we need to uh, really rethink how we fit the One House, the, the rabies control into, into One House. So this is that the quadripartite are working on a One Health Joint Action Plan. And for Action Track 3, and uh, Revis was covered here, and the, communicate, the community-centered 
and the risk-based solution um, was will be emphasized in this action track. So I, I think we, as a UAR platform, we're really thinking how we can utilize this as an opportunity for, for rabies. And what we, do we really can achieve zero by 30? If not, what we can achieve by 30? And when we can achieve 30? So thank you for your attention. Thank you.